In this video I'm using Photoshop Elements 8 and I'm going to show you how to create a false layer mask. Photoshop Elements 9 now ships with the layer mask capability built into it but earlier versions don't have that and you can either use an eraser tool to actually eliminate portions of a layer that you don't want to use or if you're into non-destructive editing you can use a layer mask. In these earlier versions of Photoshop Elements we're going to use one of the adjustment layers and fool that into believing it's going to do the job of a layer mask. So let's have a look at how we do this. I've opened my angel image here. I'm going to go ahead now and collect a texture layer to put on top of that. So let's go place and I'm just going to grab a piece of texture that I have from my files. Using my move tool I'm just going to drag it and resize it so it fits onto our image and hit enter to commit those changes. This is actually being placed as a smart object so I actually want to make that into a regular layer so I'm going to choose a simplify layer before I go ahead. So now my burnt paper is sitting on top of my angel image. I'm going to change the blending mode of this to darker color but I want to remove some of that portion of the burnt paper layer from the bottom of the angel. So in order to do that with a false layer mask I'm going to go down to my adjustment layer icon create new or fill adjustment layer and I'm just going to choose any one of these but I normally choose a levels adjustment. Then I'm going to close it down without doing anything. I'm going to move that levels adjustment layer down so that it's underneath the layer that I want to do the masking. I'm just going to rename this so that I know what it's going to do. Paper mask and so that the burnt paper and this levels adjustment using the levels adjustment mask are actually linked together I'm going to clip these two layers together and to do that I'm going to press on my alt key and I'm going to click right on the line that is between those two layers and you'll see now there's a little drop down arrow that's pointing towards the levels adjustment layer and that means these two layers are clipped together and they're talking to each other and to release it you just reverse the process press your alt or option key on a Mac and unclip it and to do it via your layer commands you can go create clipping mask and that achieves the same objective now once we've got the two layers clipped together if we come down to our mask layer and we choose our brush tool and I'm going to choose a soft brush in this case to do the masking and set the opacity to about 50 percent and we're now going to paint on the mask layer to hide portions of the textured layer that we don't want to see. So masking is non-destructive. Now I can come back and change where I've masked something so I just need to paint with white. So black hides, white reveals and if I wanted to paint all that back in I could do that. Change it back to black to paint it out. Now why, why do we do this instead of just getting the eraser tool and rubbing it out? Well you could do that and it would be a bunch less steps. The good thing about using a layer mask though is this is entirely editable. So we can come back and we can change it, we can delete it without actually affecting the burnt paper layer or the layer above it. So all this information is still intact and this is like a modifier. If we didn't have the layer mask layer here and we had just gone and used the eraser tool on that burnt paper layer, that information would be gone and you would not be able to get it back past the number of undo steps in your history panel. So using a layer mask is a great way to non-destructively edit your images and it gives you a lot more flexibility and that's how we do it in Photoshop Elements 8 and earlier versions by using an adjustment layer that we clip to the layer that we want to mask that layer must be above it and the adjustment layer is clipped underneath and then you paint with black to hide and white to reveal so I hope that's helpful and if you have any questions you can always email me marie at lostaussie.com and thanks and have a great day